Hey guys, all things Apple here, and I have the Global Gizmos Gizmo 2 and this bite the bite that Bitex speaker. Yes, both of these speakers are connected to these two devices. The Bitex speaker is connected to the iPhone 4, and the Gizmo and the Global Gizmos speaker is connected to the iPod Touch 4. Now, I'm going to do a sound test with the, well, a sound test with these two devices. Uh, it'll, so, if this video, I guess you could say it's basically just Global Gizmos, Global Gizmo, Gizmo 2 versus Bitech Universal Wireless LED Speaker, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to call it Bitech Universal Bluetooth Speaker. Well, actual, actually, Bitech LED Bluetooth Speaker. You know what I mean. That, uh, that Bitech speaker only has one LED bulb. It just, the light just bounces off the cone of the speaker fiber. You can see it there. You can, you can, you can see it flashing up. You can see it flashing its brains out there. So. We are going to be using the song Bad Day as the, as the, the song to use. I'm just going to make sure the devices are both at the same volume level. Which they are not. So I'll show you me doing that. So one, two, three, four, five. Both at the same volume level now, and we and if you, as you can see, on this device, bad day is there, and it does not have the cloud symbol next to it like some of the songs on here do, and you can see bad days on this one there, and it does not have a cloud symbol next to it, which means we can use that song because it's on the iPod, which doesn't have any songs in my cloud present on it because obviously the what iOS 6 Wi-Fi settings are busted have been discontinued of support so they can't be used anymore. I've still got that iOS 6 iPad 2. I'm still saving my Wongas. Still say I'm still saving my Wongas to get that an iPad 2 on iOS 9.3.5 to do that speed test with some of the stock apps. And if you don't know what stock means, it basically means built in. So now, let's get into it. Okay, we're going to do Global Gizmos first. Okay, so... Five volume notches isn't enough, so we'll do eight volume notches. One, two. Well, it isn't loud enough, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously, this isn't going to be a Christmas song playing. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's actually going to be half volume. So let's get into it. Second time around. So. That's still not loud enough, so. 
And actually, I'm going to see if it's all the way up on the speaker end. Okay, it's all the way up on the speaker end now as well. So I'm going to... It's just taking a much, lot longer than I thought it was going to. There we go. So there we go, that'll be loud enough, so... Get into it. Where is the moment we need it the most? You kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. A town where your blue skies fade to grey. A town where you. Okay, we'll play the first 25 seconds on the Bitex speaker. Play a bit more on that one. Passion's gone away, and I don't need no care none. I only played a bit more on that to make it fair because I accidentally ran over the time on the Bitex speaker, so yeah, so you get the idea. The Bitex speaker was only quieter because I haven't figured out how to use it properly, but it's it was a fair enough test. Sorry guys, there's just loads of flies in this garden. And they're really annoying me. You get the idea. That speaker. It's a good buy. That speaker's cheaper. You're getting a bigger speaker. And I believe that is 4.2 watts. The global gizmo speaker is 4.2 watts. And the Bitex speaker is 5 watts, so yeah, you're probably better off getting the Bitex speaker if you want loudness and maybe quality. I haven't tested it on its full capacity yet, but if you want quality but you're not looking, but you're not doing it for very loud, then the Global Gizmos one is for you. I should have really put the boxes, I should have really put their boxes in the background so you knew what boxes to look out for, to look, to keep your eyes open, to keep your eyes peeled for, so you know what boxes to look for if you want to buy them. Obviously they won't be these particular ones because obviously they belong to all things Apple.com and they yeah, they belong to allthingsapple.com and we aren't going to be giving them away because we need them for the video. And actually, that was not bad. We'll do it. one more song. We will do... Hmm, bring him home. No, we won't. Because that probably won't be loud enough. We will not do bring him home at all. Does okay, so let's do. Um, that's, you're probably going to write loads of, you're probably going to write loads of hate to me, you're probably going to write loads of hate to me about this, but I don't 
really care. I don't give a hoot it. I don't give a hoot about what you say about this video. Well, I do, really. I just don't give a hoot about what you say about the songs I chose to use in the video. Because this device, this device has different songs on it to this device. There, there it is on the camera. That device has some different songs to that device. So we do a, uh, Land of Hope and Glory on Global Gizmos. Up to 33. We'll do 33 on this one. So now we'll do the same song on this speaker. I'm so, I'm paying attention to the light on the speaker. It's gone to 30 seconds now. 37, I'm totally annoyed with myself with that. Okay, so. Which speaker to buy? If you ask me, if you were to ask me, I would say, you are, I would say, get the Bytech speaker. But I'm only saying that really because I think it sounds better and it's brand new. And it's probably, it probably really sounds better because it's brand new and it's got a light in it. Well, that one's got lights in it as well. So probably because it's brand new and it's got more, and it's got more functionality. But that speaker is kind of old now. It's probably about three years, like three years old. And so in fact, it's actually four years old. That speaker is actually four years old, so it's old, a lot older than that one. That one is actually four years younger than that one. That one is four years younger than that one, so yeah. You can't tell which ones I'm talking about. That one is four years younger than that one, so yeah. That one's in good condition for its age, but it's rattling, you see. You see, it's rattling. Yeah, because it's been dropped a lot, a lot of times as well. It's not, it's, so it's, it's quite tough actually. It's been, it's, it's been through hell. It's been through hell. And it just keeps on chugging and it's in very good condition for what it's been through. That one on the other hand, the Bytech speaker, is obviously the one. It's obviously the crown has obviously been crowned king of the speakers well not really obviously but it's been crowned king of the speakers for all things Apple that's all we've got time for in this video peace this is all things Apple signing off